Now we go to a story uh, about a former Ron Paul staffer. His name is Eric Dondero, worked with Ron Paul for a long time. And he wants to set the record straight, and he wants to tell people uh, about, you know, all the positions that uh, he supports of Ron Paul's. Uh, first of all, he says he's not anti-Semitic at all. Uh, he's just anti-Israel. Um, and that's, that's perfectly fine. You know, I mean, if you are anti-Israel, I don't know that Ron Paul is. I don't know that he's being accurate about that. But there's certainly a distinction. And he says he's fine with the Jews in America. Is he not merciful? Okay. Uh, that's a lot more uh, problematic. But look, it's just him quoting Ron Paul, and it's not an exact quote. So that's one side of it. He says that Ron Paul is not very comfortable with black and uh, uh, Latino culture. Okay, he's not comfortable. He says he doesn't like it when people speak Spanish around him. That happens to a lot of people. Uh, you and I might disagree, but hey, you know what? So far, I'm not blown out of the water by those uh, details. I'm about to get blown out of the water. Uh, he says about gays that Ron Paul is not all bigoted toward homosexuals. I was like, is he missing an ad in there? Is not at all bigoted toward homosexuals? No, no, no. He's not. He meant he's not all bigoted toward homosexuals. Again, is he not merciful? Uh, he says he's, quote, personally uncomfortable around homosexuals. He's not bigoted against all of them, but he is uncomfortable around them. Then he goes on to give examples. They apparently had uh, gone to California uh, to meet up with other libertarians, including this guy uh, named Jim. Uh, who was openly gay, as he's about to describe, and he had a great time until the end. Uh, let me show you what he says. Jim set up a magnificent three-day campaign swing for us in the San Francisco Bay Area. Jim was what you would call very openly gay, but Ron thought the world of him. For three days, we had a great time trousing from one campaign event to another with Jim's gay lover. The atmosphere was simply jovial between the four of us. So far, sounds good. It's magnificent. It's jovial. They're trouncing. Everybody's having a good time. Well, he continues. Uh, he told me very clearly that although he liked him, he did not wish to use his bathroom facilities. I chided him a bit, but he sternly reacted, as he often did to me. Eric, just do what I said. One more part of this. He says, perhaps sternly is an understatement. Ron looked at me directly and with a very angry look in his eye and shouted under his breath, just do what I say now. He apparently wanted uh, Eric to go find him a restroom at a local restaurant and find an excuse for him to go to that local restaurant so he could use that straight bathroom instead of the gay bathroom of his friend that he was trouncing around doing events with. Okay? Now, first of all, have you ever seen those restaurant bathrooms? To think that those would be cleaner than your friend's bathroom just because he's gay might be the most offensive part of this. And second of all, how do you know a gay guy didn't sit in those bathrooms either? But look, if this story is true, putting the kidding aside, Jesus, what does this say about this guy? And in some of those uh, newsletters, they had talked about how the government is lying about how you can get AIDS and that you, in fact, can get it from saliva or sweat or tears. And that, uh, you know, the federal funding of AIDS was uh, not the right way to go, and it was part of some sort of conspiracy. So those stories I had trouble believing until I see this, and then I go, well, again, if Eric Dondero is telling the truth, and this is a guy who's supporting Ron Paul, well, and it worked for him for a long time, then it's very problematic. Then he tells the story of a second guy named Bobby. He says, Bobby, a well-known and rather flamboyant and well-liked gay man in Freeport, came to the barbecue. Let me stress, Ron likes Bobby personally, and Bobby was a hardcore campaign supporter. But after his speech at the Surfside Pavilion, Bobby uh, came up to Ron with his hand extended. And according to my fellow staffer, Ron literally swatted his hand away. Now, look, he said, according uh, to my fellow staffer. So it's a little bit of you know, hearsay on that front, right? But when you put all the stories together, the swatting of the hand, the, not, the direct, in this case, you know, evidence from Dondura saying he would not sit on this guy's bathroom even though he was, had such a great time with him and, and agreed with his libertarian ideas. All these guys are libertarians. They all agree, except when it comes to using their bathrooms or shaking their hands. What this says about Ron Paul and, and 
you know, gay Americans it is devastating. 